Hi, my name is Andrea. Welcome to Fedlab Fundamentals. Today, I'm going to teach you how to use a function generator. You can turn on the function generator with this button. While it loads, I'll show you the circuit that we're going to be using today. It's a, a resistor LED circuit. Um, in this case, instead of the battery, we're going to have the function generator as an input signal for the circuit. Now that it has loaded, you can see there's different settings on this side. There's frequency, phase, amplitude, and offset. You can change these with this, these buttons, or you can use these buttons. You see how this one has frequency period, amplitude, um, phase, and offset. Um, so to change the frequency, you click the frequency button, and then you see how it selects. Um, then I can use this knob to um, increase or decrease um, the, the whatever you have selected, or you can use these numbers. Um, I recommend using these numbers since you can change also the unit. So in this case, if I put 10, um, you have different units. You have megahertz, kilohertz, or hertz, or millihertz. In this case, I'm just going to use hertz, so I select hertz. And then if I want to change the amplitude, I do the same. So in this case, I'm going to use 4 um, volts peak to peak. There's also millivolts. Um, and then you also have different functions here. So you have sine, square, um, ram, which is a triangle, pulse, those are like the most common ones. So you select the desired function. Um, here in this case, I'm going to use the square one. And on the lower side of the screen, you can see a visual representation of the function. So in this case, I'm not going to worry about the offset or the phase, but I will show you how to change it. So here I select offset and then I'm going to move it to 2 volts and you see how the, the function changes. Then you can also change this, the phase the same way, um, which will just move the function to the right or to the left um, according to what you put. And well now I'm just going to change the offset to 0 volts, which is what I want. And after that is done, I can connect my coaxial cable, which is usually going to be connected to the function generator, but if it's not, it'll be located on the table, or you can ask a FabLab monitor for it. After I have connected um, the coaxial cable, you see that on the other end, there's two um, cables. There's the red one and the black one. The red one, in this case, is the positive, and black is um, the negative. So um, here you can see there's my resistor and my LED. My resistor is going to be connected to the positive terminal of the circuit and the LED to the negative. So you want to make sure that the LED is um, in the correct polarity. So the longer leg is going to be connected to the resistor since that's going to be my positive. Next, I connect my cables. So my positive one to the end of the resistor and the negative terminal to the other end of the LED. You might want to make sure that they're correctly connected. And then after that is done, I can go back to my function generator and I will use th this button to turn the channel on. You see how it turns green? That means that the channel is on. And now I go back to my circuit and you see that the LED is um, on and it's flashing. And if you want to decrease or increase the frequency, you can use um, what I showed you guys earlier in the video. So here in this case, I'm going to increase the frequency and you see how it gets faster. And if you decrease the frequency, um, it gets slower, like that. that. Right now, I'm in 5 hertz. And then I'm going to change also the amplitude so you see how it gets brighter or dimmer. So I'm going to change the amplitude to 6 volts. And you see how it got brighter. Then I'm going to decrease it to 3 volts, and it got dimmer. And then after you've done everything you want with the function generator, you can turn it off by clicking the same button you turn the channel on, and then turning the function generator off with this button. And that is how you have an input signal for your circuit.